Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorials on Galaxy for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of what Galaxy Webflows are. So let's get started. So I will start by showing you this page here. So this page here has a good explanation for what Webflows are. So Webflows here, the tutorial here refers to them as a means of chaining individual tools together in Galaxy, all right? And I agree with this because when designing Webflows, you chain tools together, all right? So chaining these tools together allow you to automatically carry out your analysis, all right? So Webflows are useful, especially in situations where you have multiple tools and you are going to run these tools in a particular order, in a defined order, then Webflows come in very handy. And so creating Webflows also enable you to perform complex competition analysis, all right? These analysis, you can carry them in a repeated manner, all right? So Webflows, consider them as pipelines. So if you have a pipeline, you can always run them, okay? You can run them and you can also supply information to it. And so ultimately, Webflows will allow you to perform your computation analysis in a repeatable manner and also with minimal user inputs. Now, let's take a look at an example here. I think that will help us to understand it better. So when you come to this page, I'll leave the link to this page in the discussion box. These are Galaxy tutorials. So let's just use this one here, the assembly one here. So just assembly, let's just go down. I think we should rather use one which is much simpler. I will just check that one here. Yeah, so let's look at genome annotation. That will be better. So just come to this page, I repeat. The link to this page is in the description box. So right click to open the genome annotation tutorial in another page and you'll find a list here. I want us to use this one here. So genome annotation with broker, right? So when you are here, just come to the right side, workflows, this one here, and then just right click and then open in a new tab. Okay, open the link in a new tab. So when you open it, you are going to see this coming up, all right? So when you are here, you can just come to this side, import into Galaxy. So you can import to any of them. All right. But just make sure I have created an account on that particular server. So in this situation, I will use Galaxy.eu. So I'll say click import to use Galaxy.eu. So I'll click it. And when I click it, you will see that the workflow has been indicated here. It has been shown here for me. So this is it. All right. But I just want to view for this tutorial. I just want to give an overview. So we are going to view and then just look at the workflow. So I'll just come to workflow. I'll click it. And then when I click it, I'm going to find that workflow. I had earlier on imported some, so that's why you see this one. But you will see just this one here if this is the first time you are importing a workflow. So when you see it, just come to this side, click it, and then go to edit. You can just do edit. You just want to Look at it that's fine right so when you click on edit you have this coming up so this is how a typical workflow looks like so with workflow you have your input you have your output you also have your tools okay so depend on what you want and depend on the tool that you are going to use then you can set up the workflow i have to tell us that show how to build workflow so you can check the description box for links to those videos so those are very practical this tutorial here it's just an overview. So I'm showing you how the workflow system works and then you can top up with those tutorials I made mention of. So there's an example, there's a genome annotation workflow. And so what happens is you have your input, which is the content of first A. You also have your genome annotation tool, which is Proca, which is here. You also have JBrowse, which is also used for visualizing genome annotation. So you can see what is happening here. So this one here, there's the inputs and the input here serves as an it's, it provides the inputs. This particular tool here provides the inputs, which is context.first. It provides that's two proca. So that is done using this line here. Let me just click to remove. I'll just remove it. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah. I'll also remove this so that we can see it better. Okay. So this one here, this context here. It's going to be the input for Proca. So if you are designing a workflow, then you can link that to the appropriate parts like this. 
this also serves an input for jbrowse so you can also drag it and bring it here all right so one input can be supplied to different tools it depends on how your analysis is going to be done how your analysis is going to be run how your tools are going to be run and so you have to decide how you are going to configure the tools and for each of the tools when you click or let, let's even use Proca. when you click it on the right side you have the information the actually so you can label them you can give annotation this like a description you can also change the settings here to suit what you want right so that's how it's done and then we also have outputs so the output of Proca, for example here these are the outputs and one of them serves as input for another one which is here okay it serves as an input for this other one that is j browse which is here so you can see that this one has been checked meaning it's going to serve as an input for this one here okay so you see that here okay so there's how a typical workflow looks like in galaxy now there's something else you also need to know so this is a simple workflow but you can also have complex workflows i'll just show you one here let's go back to the gallery tutorial page let's use the original page here let's go back so we have annotation i'll show you this other one yeah this one should be better okay so just let's use the metagenomics tutorial there's one here i want us to look at so search for metagenomics you can click it just open a new tab and then search for this one the last one here, which is pathogen detection this one here so just come to the workflow section here you can right click and open it in a new tab then you can import okay so by this time you should be used to that so you can import and after that you click on workflow you will see it there like this so click this one and then you can go to edit just to see it all right so this one also has lots of tools you can always minimize using this minus and plus here the plus we used to is used to maximize so you can just also drag now you see what is happening you see we have numerous tools going together like this let's just check it here so you can see them here so there's also a complex tool and that, that's the beauty of workflow so once you design it then all that you have to do is just import them and then use them all right so i have to that show how to import workflows to use i have to that show how to build workflows and then use them so you can check the description for those videos all right so this is an overview of workflows now for each workflow you can rename you can change some stuff you can even delete stuff and these are things that are covered in detail in other tutorials so just because of that all right so once you are done you can also save it or run it that's up to you so that one i'll leave this to you but i'll encourage you to check the videos on how to build workflows yourself all right so that is so this is the general overview of what galaxy workflows are and then what you need to do next is to watch the videos here and these videos show you how to build galaxy workflows